Welcome back Behind Your Short, I'm your host Wesley Malat, and today we're gonna to take a look at how you can freeze or rewind half of your scene like we did in our short film, Date, Click, Repeat. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, I mean, you know, you don't wanna get too bulky. Why not? <sighs> you know, and women with muscles is, ooh. So wait, you think women with muscles can't be sexy? It's not that they can't be sexy, they're not. <laughs> what? So, so, Dr. What, so how about we, we take a minute, think about what you really want to say, and just do it better, okay? Take it back one more time. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Both of these techniques are really simple effects that you can do within Premiere. Now I'm gonna pass this bitch to Corey, who was an editor on Date, Click, Repeat, to show you a step-by-step -step walkthrough on how you can accomplish these effects. Hey everybody, uh, this is Corey. Uh, today we're going to go over uh, how we went over the freeze frame um, for our 40 hour film of click, date, repeat, uh, as well as the uh, rewind effect um, and how you can accomplish this uh, within a, a quick project. So here's the scene that we're going to uh, look over. So as you can see, this is our freeze frame uh, that we had created uh, to get this effect. Um, it's a pretty simple task. Uh, all you need to do is be able to grab the actual frame that you want to start at. So as you see on here, um, let me zoom in just a little bit here. Uh, we want to catch her right in the act of the the emotion before she Excuse says me? the <laughs> F-bomb. And what you will do is stop it right where you liked it uh, from here. You will go up and you will find the little camera icon uh, on, under the view of the of this scene, uh, and you'll click on this. Uh, as you can see, um, you you can also uh, do Control Shift E uh, as well to capture that. Uh, once you do this, you'll uh, name it whatever you want to to name it. I'll just name it free, Freeze Frame One uh, Test. Uh, you can change the format to BMP, it seems to be fine, no no issues with that. Um, and something you want to do is make sure that it is clicked or checked to import into your project. Uh, it should show up in your, uh, in your project here. So as we see, that frame is here. Um, I, I won't pull that directly in uh, and replace this, but I'll show you that this here is now just a freeze frame, just a picture of that that one spot. Now to get the effect of everybody else moving, as you see, um, we have Andrew here still moving during uh, so the scene and everybody else moving, but she's still st still. Uh, to get this, what we're gonna do is use an opacity uh, mask on there. Uh, this is uh, Adobe Premiere Pro CC. Uh, 2018 version. From here, what you'll want to do is under the uh, edit editing section for the scene, you'll want to click up there. Uh, make sure you click on the freeze frame because that's where we want to put the mask. We want to mask around the uh, the actress. It'll bring up all the options that you can do this with. Uh, quickest way um, to save time with this uh, because it's a still frame, you don't have to really track anything. Uh, you can start out with just the, the four-point polygon. Um, they also have a circle option you can do, uh, or you can make your own free free draw of the uh, outline of the polygon that you'd like to make. And so here we have the mask. Uh, it's showing. <clears throat> As you can tell, it's it's a little hard to uh, see the the difference in it because you're not. Uh, I guess we we hover over Andrew here. You can see the the difference in the frame. Uh, so you know that that is actually working there. So what you want to do is just bring it over your subject or whatever it is that you'd like to mask out to um, create the freeze frame and start to block in around them uh, as best as possible. So, and a good trick to this, make sure you make lines around things that are steady, stable, so like here, uh, we've got a nice straight line on the candle that you can kind of work with and just bring that all the way down. And we will cover that whole piece. So, now 
now we have that piece covered. Um, so it's a pretty simple so, thing. Uh, we decided to film it in this manner uh, so that we could make easy clips like that to, to give that effect. Um, when you start having adding motion into things, uh, tracking those, uh, it could be a little bit more difficult, but with the experience and time, um, it can be done. All yeah, right, so we did with that with the you know, obviously the the main uh, scene in the frame, uh, but also uh, because it's a pretty quick job, we decided to do it as well with the other shots as well to allow her any little tiny movements like her her eyes blinking. I think that if we actually remove visibility of this, you can see. No. See, there's a little bit of motion in her head, and her eyes are blinking. Um, being able to do a freeze frame of of the scene allows to give it that stiffness uh, to that. Gets rid of those little minor movements that uh, break away from that effect. That's how we go on doing that with the, the mask. Again, you'll just uh, make sure you click on the actual frame that you want to mask, uh, and then go over to your effects control and go down to the opacity section and uh, choose any of the three. Um, I just chose in the square because it was an easier um, chop out on there to, to, to do that. All right, now for the rewind effect. I'll play it here so you can see. And just do it better, okay? Take it back one more time. Sure. Okay. So to pull off the, the rewind effect, we've got uh, that rewind effect is this this piece here, and the trick to this, um, the, the nice thing is, is that you don't have to. You can kind of give it that glitch feeling, so it doesn't have to be spot on, exact same frame. But because I was grabbing another scene, I had to get something that was similar to her same position. Uh, so I found the piece. Let me just copy this, and I'm gonna uh, just reverse this uh, effect on here, just so I can show you what that. The original looks like on there of that that scene. Nice, I love too. Nice, cool. Uh, oh, not too much. So as you see, we've I've have this masked out. Um, well, I mean, you know, you know, cropping that piece out. So where we start out on this is nice, cool. uh, going to be the the question where she's going to jump back into uh, it. And at the too. end of yeah. this clip that you have should be her freaking out. Uh, Excuse what the f about the situation. If you right click on the frame and click on speed and duration, um, you'll want to speed it up. Um, for this instant, I had uh, sped it up to 600. 600. Uh, you'll also want to reverse the speed uh, on this. What this is doing is it's flipping the scene um, so that we have that rewind effect. There is an option to maintain audio pitch, but because we wanted the rewind sound to it, uh, we kept the high pitch piece to it, but you could make the audio have the same same pitch as before if you wanted to. So we'll go ahead and do that, and you'll see that this should play out like that, that section. And basically, once you've got that piece all done, you'll drag that right over, place it in, and fine tune uh, one thing that's on here I just uh, noticed, um, you'll notice that there's a fingers on there, on the glass. Um, that's just because the mask is not covering uh, that section. So a quick quick fix to that is just uh, make sure you click on the scene there. Uh, go over to your effects. Uh, down under opacity, you'll find the mask. I highlight that section. And you'll see where this is all clumped at. I penned in some spots. So we take this and we just move these out of the way. I cover that glass. Uh, we should be good to go. Um, let me just make sure that... Uh, there we go. No more issue with the nice. glass. Hope you found this helpful and thanks for watching.
That's going to do it for this week's episode of Behind a Short. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment below, and then tune in later this month for... Dun dun dun! This is an announcement! Later this month, folks, we are releasing Short Scares Volume 2. This year, we've teamed up with Fear Crypt Productions and A-Positive to bring you two higher quality short films for Halloween. So be on the lookout the last two weeks of October for these short films. Done. Done. No more. No math. So be on the lookout. <laughs> oh, this is frustrating.